introduce yourselves. Okay, I'm Yuna Kim, and I'm Margo Jacobs. And you guys are? Keep. How did Keep start? Basically, Margo and I used to live in New York, and we got really tired of buying size four and a half, size five, little boy shoes. It was really hard to suss out, and we weren't into any of the girl stuff. So if you look at a lot of the companies, they'll have a men's line and a women's line, and a lot of the times, the way that they differentiate those two lines is totally whack really indicative of what those companies think women are. We're totally not into the bubbly shoes, the clown shoes, the weird pink shoes that totally misappropriate that beautiful color pink. And we were just over it. So we're like, okay, let's 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 think about this to try and make something happen. And it kind of was on the back burner for like maybe five, six years. And then all of a sudden a whole bunch of different factors kind of came together for us and we ended up how long has the brand been around? Um, spring is our first season. That's the first time our product hits the shelves is spring summer. So check it out. May. Where's it available? May, uh, and April, beginning of May. Um, you can always get it on our website, keepcompany.com. Boom. Or you can get it, uh, it depends on where you live. You can get it all over the place. Um, we're just booking all our vendors now and finishing that up. So I don't want to say so I have the orders written. But you can definitely get us at True and SF. Lion's Den in LA, Autumn Skate Shop in New York, Booga Booga in LA, and a whole bunch of other rad places. Check our website and we'll give you the complete stock list. And you guys are from New York or, or from the East Coast? From the East Coast. East Coast. What part? Where? I'm from Florida originally. I haven't okay. lived there in a long time. Baltimore, Charm City. Okay. And then we lived in New York for like 10 years before we split. So how'd you move to LA? What, what made you guys move to LA? Um, well, I actually came, I went to New York via Italy, via Sweden, and then to LA, and I came to LA to hook up with Nina and Vita. Okay. It's time. And I came to LA because I went to Stanford to get my MBA. It's NorCal. It's over kind of that whole situation. And so we ended up coming to LA because we have a lot of crew down there, and it's beautiful, and the surf is good, and you can afford to have a warehouse there because New York was too expensive for us to really choose a lot of inventory, you know, it's too expensive to get a big spot for us, so. Okay. And, um, what kind of brands are you feeling? What kind of brands are yeah. we feeling? Yeah, Opening ceremony, big, they're amazing. Um, they're straight out of New York, Chinatown based. Um, who else are we feeling? Dog and Pony, the yeah, lifestyle brand, dmp006.com, check it out. We like that store, a New York thing, in New York, even though we've never been there because we just love their website. Awesome, it's amazing. Booga Booga, big time in LA. Footwear brands that we like. Well, that's hard to say, you know, we like a little, a lot of different weird classic stuff, but. What are your top three favorite shoes of all time? The Ramos, the Benton, and the Duke. Hey, okay, top three shoes, I would say Dog and Pony, A Life, or Right Foot, Slip On, 99, number one. Number two, Queens and Lace, Kids from 87. Number three, Javianas. Javianas. Javianas are around. What inspires the shoes? Everything, lots of things. Our lives, living. Being. You know what really inspires Keep is that we work with a whole bunch of really amazing artists and designers, and photographers, and just rad humorists, rad people who we are, are just totally awesome and inspiring to live the dream and who really try and make us try and keep our game super tight and keep on us and everything. And we love being able to work with them and being able to create something that's more than just a product but something that really brings together a lot of people to make something happen. So. Is it just, um, are you guys planning any collaborations? Well, a lot of our, um, some of our shoes are collaborations in terms of, we work with different illustrators um, and artists like Ashley Maycomber and Ulrika Lofgren, she's from Sweden, and made different shoes with them, our, featured their artwork on our shoes. This is, for example, this is an illustration by a designer and artist, uh, Ulrika Lofgren in Sweden. One of our homies that we love. And then a lot of our apparel features artwork by, um, this season features artwork by Marco Hernandez, who's an Olympia Washington tattoo artist. Sick. Awesome. Amazing line work. Um, also, Rika again from Sweden. Amy Yao, an artist. She's LA based, but she's getting her MFA at Yale right now. Insane. Just insane. Conceptual, rad. Ashley Maycomber's um, an 
LA based, or actually now she just moved to Huntington Beach. She's an incredible uh, painter. And then uh, next season we're working with, we got a design from um, New York based artist Simone Schubach who does amazing drawings. Um, we got an illustration from Tobin Yelland who is a sick photographer, really well known for his like lifestyle shots and first skateboarding photographs, but also a really amazing illustrator that most people don't know. And a Topanga Canyon based artist called Ashley Thayer who's a really really amazing quirky just water woman painter all around just free ride. So. Is it all pretty much both of you think you mentioned one guy who you're working with is it all with the females you work with? No dude no, we, got, no, we got lots of guys man. Okay. Jerry Lim, Classic Enigma straight out of Brooklyn he's amazing. Isaac Ramos done so much stuff for us he's from Dog and Pony. Brendan Fowler always hooks us up as much as we can, as much as he can. That's Bar. Um, we got a lot of dudes in our hey, little posse. Like Tobin, are you guys Marco, doing are you guys doing Ray Potes from Hamburger Eyes. Hamburger Eyes, big shout out. What's up? <laughs> Are you guys planning to do anything, any guys' footwear, any guys' collection? We will never, ever do men's footwear. We will only do keep <laughs> footwear. But, and we will never switch it to unisex sizing. But we will increase our size line, our size run. So if dudes want to rock our stuff, there's no reason why you can't. But you're going to have to do the same size conversion that we have had to do for our entire lives. Exactly. But don't be ashamed, man. There's nothing wrong with you rocking the keeps. Everybody's going to do it. Do you make a size 14, size 15 keep? No, we make a 10. Right now, for our first season, we make a 10, which is like eight and a half guys. Not gonna cover most of y'all. But um, fall, we're gonna increase to 11 and 12, and hopefully next spring, we'll, uh, we'll pump it up to, uh, to size 13. So that'll cover some of you guys, so. Week, the actress wanna date you. Ice cream boutique, the ice cream skate shoe. 12 pages in the